Question 4. A. Define NW change of formation. Okay, NW change when one mode of a compound is formed from its elements in their standard state under standard condition. So this is a full definition about uh, NW change of uh, formation. Okay, first you need to make sure one mole of compound is formed because this one is one mark. Uh, from its elements, um, it's better to use uh, one example. Okay, let's use uh, this one. Um, if let's say we want to form the iron uh, 3 uh, oxide. So this one, uh, you need to form one mole. And this uh, iron oxide is need to form from its elements. The elements must be iron and oxygen. So it must be the iron in solid because under the uh, standard condition, uh, the, this iron is solid. And of course, oxygen is another element. It must be gassed. Okay, make sure it's one mole of this uh, iron oxide produced from the elements and these elements must in their standard state uh, that, that's the meaning right so again uh, one mole of a compound is formed from its elements and these elements must in their standard state under standard condition uh, standard condition means uh, 298 Kelvin 298 Kelvin and uh, 1 ATM Uh, one ATM means uh, is about one zero one uh, kilopascal. Uh, okay. um, for part B, uh, iron is made when uh, iron three oxide is heated with the carbon monoxide, as shown in the reaction two. This one, iron three oxide with the carbon monoxide form iron and CO two. Okay, later we're going to use uh, the uh, delta H formation for the calculation. Uh, before that, uh, let's uh, fill up this table uh, because it's asking uh, the equations right for these uh, formations of uh, iron three oxide, CO and CO two. Uh, the delta H F is given. Later, we use these values for the calculation. Uh, so just give the equations for the first one, iron three oxide. This one I already discussed just now. Uh, when they ask uh, to give the this uh, equation, right? Because it says completes the table four point one by adding equations with rele relevant state symbols. Um, so means you need to put the correct state symbol, whether it's solid, liquid, gas, and so on. Um, so for this equation again, we need to make sure one mole of iron uh, three ox oxide produced. And it must be solid. And these iron three oxide produced from the elements, okay, iron and oxygen. So you just balance it. Okay, make sure this one is always one more. So and the uh, state for this iron is a solid, oxygen is gas. For the carbon monoxide, okay, make sure one more of the carbon monoxide form and it must be gassed gassed and this carbon monoxide is formed from the carbon and oxygen carbon is a solid oxygen is a gas you balance it so you get these two equations okay part two use the data in this uh, table 4.1 to calculate the enthalpy change of reaction uh, the reaction is this: uh, iron three oxide with carbon monoxide form iron and CO two. Okay, of course the coefficient is very important. We need to use it uh, for the calculation. Um, if you want to make it fast, it's actually very easy. So we just need to use the sum of the um, enthalpy change of formations of products minus the reactants. Okay, so later I, I show you uh, how the the calculation should be. Okay, before that, uh, it's better to use a uh, Hess cycle, uh, then you can understand better. Right. 
Um, okay, let's start from this, uh, this uh, reaction. And we know that these reactants and these products, they actually form from the same elements. Iron, carbon, and oxygen. And if, let's say, these three elements form the reactants, so it go this way. So it go, okay, go this way. And we know that when this iron, carbon, and oxygen form, iron oxide is form one mole. And the carbon monoxide need to be three mole. So means it's going to be a uh, delta HF of this uh, iron three oxide times one plus three times of the delta HF of the carbon monoxide because it's from three moles. Then another way it will form is the products. Means that the iron, carbon and oxygen also will form these products. Of course, iron will not really form iron, so we just uh, need to focus on the CO2. Means carbon reacts with oxygen from this CO2. And three moles of this uh, carbon uh, dioxide is produced. So just three times of delta HF of CO2. So use the Hess cycle, so we know that the delta HR plus this enthalpy is equal to this enthalpy. So we have this relation. Okay, again, if we want to use a Hess cycle, so we need to sum up this one. So it means this enthalpy and delta HR, after we sum up, is equal to this enthalpy. Right, so we have this relation. So in order to get this delta HR, so we just bring these uh, two enthalpy to another side. So we get this. And after that, we substitute the values that are given here from the table right, to this equation. So we will get negative 24.8. Again, if you want to make it fast without using this uh, Hess cycle, so you can use the formations, the sum of formations of products minus reactive. So this one is a product. This is a formation of the products. Uh, we not really includes the iron because iron the formation is zero. Okay, minus. Uh, so we need to minus the formations of the iron three oxide. Okay, which is the reactant. Okay, reactant, one more. And minus the formations of the CO. So it need to times three, huh? because it's uh, from three moles. Okay, so this one again, this is a reactant, and this is the products. So you still will get back the same answer, negative 24.8 kilojoule per mole. Okay, that's all. Thank you.